I'm home. In Larry Kramer's great play, The Normal Heart, which I had the honor of performing in in 1985 at the Public Theater, and later I co-directed it for its Broadway premiere, Ned Weeks, the protagonist, says, I belong to a culture that includes Proust, Henry James, Tchaikovsky, Cole Porter, Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, Alexander the Great, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Christopher Marlowe, Walt Whitman, Herman Melville, Tennessee Williams, Byron, E.M. Forster, Lorca, Auden, Francis Bacon, James Baldwin, Harry Stack Sullivan, John Maynard Keynes, Dag Hammerschild. These are not invisible men. Did you know that it was an openly gay Englishman who was as responsible as any man for winning the Second World War? His name. His name was Alan Turing, and he cracked the Germans' Enigma code so the Allies knew in advance what the Nazis were going to do. And when the war was over, he committed suicide. He was so hounded for being gay. Why don't they teach any of this in the schools? We've come a long way, but we must never forget our past or our heroes. Today, Alan Turing's vital story is finally being told in the award-winning film, The Imitation Game. Take a look. Christopher's become so smart. You named him. I have a feeling you're going to be very good at this. Did you know this morning, I was on a train that went through a city that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. What is the point of different tastes, different preferences, if not to say that our brains work differently, that we think differently? Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of who do the things. It's my pleasure on behalf of the Human Rights Campaign to bring to the stage and present the Ally for Equality Award to the filmmakers of The Imitation Game. Please welcome cast member Matthew Good, director Morton Tildum, producers Nora Grossman and Ido Ostrowski, and Harvey Weinstein. Thank you so much. Um, this is such an incredible room, and I think it's a really good opportunity for me. You should always go a little bit off piste when you have teleprompters, and it also scares the hell out of Harvey. So, <laughs> but genuinely, my favorite show this year on television, I have children, 
it's a nightmare getting to watch anything that you genuinely enjoy apart from Peppa Pig these days. So Transparent, I think, has been an extraordinary, eye-opening, thrilling, comedic venture and incredibly brave. And genuinely, I have people who, in my life who, and it's really touched me and I think it's brilliant. Sorry. Wow, I didn't expect that. Anyway, um, I can't obviously give awards, but I, I was slightly depressed that it didn't get some more supporting cast nominations. So for me, that's my favorite cast of the year. The Matthew Good Award. Anyway, um, it's an honor beyond measure to be here tonight accepting recognition from such an impactful and respected organization as the Human Rights Campaign. Long before we shot the first scene or had page one of the script for the Imitation Game, HRC has been on the front lines for equality and gay rights for decades. Is this actually meant to be my speech? <laughs> it is, okay. It just didn't look like the one I was sent. Never mind, let's continue. <laughs> so while we want to thank you, of course, for tonight's award, more importantly, we want to thank you for the work you've all done for so many years. I played just one role in this film, but the entire team behind the intimidation, in, imitation game, I am intimidated, <laughs> I'm intimidated so badly. <laughs> Not really, I'm not a very good actor. Anyway, that I'm sure can be edited. Many of whom are on stage with me tonight are incredibly moved and humbled to be receiving the Ally for Equality Award. While he unfortunately could not be here with us tonight, my great friend and fellow actor, Benedict Cumberbatch, has sent a message which I would like to share with you. I'm so sorry about that. Good evening, everyone. Hi, I'm really very sorry I couldn't be there tonight. I'm, uh, I'm sadly, well, not sadly, very happily playing Sherlock in, in London, but I'm very sad not to be with you guys celebrating in person in New York. Um, but I wanted to take a moment to uh, express my appreciation for this really tremendous honour um, that the Human Rights Campaign is, is bestowing on the Imitation Game tonight, our film about Alan Turing. And I know I speak on behalf of the entire cast, the production team and creatives that uh, were behind this film in saying that the Equality Award is, well, it is quite simply the most moving and special pieces of acknowledgement that this film could ever achieve and receive. So thank you to, uh, to take part in this film alone was something that none of us could resist. Not only was um, Alan Turing's story a remarkable one, but it gave us the opportunity to celebrate a man whose heroism and brilliance and achievements were overshadowed by a cruel conviction and um, an even more horrific punishment um, in an intolerant era. He has played a momentous role in putting an end to one of humanity's worst wars, pioneering computers as we know them today, the universal machine, which we now call a computer, and, uh, and is seen by many as being the father of computer science and championing fearlessness when it came to his identity, his self, his sexuality. Alan Turing changed life as we know it today quite simply for, and for the better. And um, while his life was cut all too tragically short, he will forever, I think, deserve the immeasurable gratitude of the LGBT community and the world as a whole. Um, so once again, a million, million, million thanks to the HRC for granting our film with this immense honor, which we dedicate tonight to Alan Turing and his incomparable and enduring legacy. Thank you. Um, thank you, Benedict. Um, I'm Morton Tillum. I'm the director of this movie. Um, and thank you so much for bestowing on us this great honor. Um, I moved from Norway to LA for a few years ago. Um, and my daughter, who is 18 now, uh, shared with us a few years ago that she's gay, and I can tell you how important and how thankful I am to be here with an organization who's fighting so diligently for her future and for her rights. Um, directing this film uh, was a tremendous labor of love, and uh, I share this journey with an incredible group of so talented people, both behind and in front of the camera. And everybody who was on this project shared this passion for bringing, for bringing Alan Storing's story to a big audience around the world. We were like a family on a mission, I think. Um, the challenge of getting his life onto the big screen was so important to us. 
I mean, this man is one of the big geniuses, one of the most important individuals of this century. And far too long has he lived sort of like in the shadow of history. Um, so, um, I'm, um, Alan was a man whose brilliant mind saved countless lives. And yet he endured terrible persecution because of his sexuality from the same government that he helped to save. It's our hope that along with our friends at HRC, we can call attention to his legacy and also to the atrocities he endured. Alan Turing, of course, did not suffer alone. Some 49,000 other gay men were victim to cruel laws during their time and treated as criminals merely for being gay. Alan received apologies from the government and queen uh, decades after his death, but 49,000 others still have not had their names cleared. The advocates Matthew Breen, who's here with us tonight, started a petition, pardon49k.org, calling for the pardon of all these men. We hope you'll take a moment tonight or tomorrow to go online and lend your name and support. Thank you again for tonight's great honor, just not just for our film, but for honoring Alan Turing. I'm Harvey.